Last time on our boat story, we departed from Lock 19, Scott Mills, for the world-famous Lock 21, the Peterborough Hydraulic Lift Lock. Today, we continue on the Great Loop Adventure on the Trent Severn Waterway from Lock 21, which is the Peterborough Lift Lock, to Lock 22 in Nassau Mills. Aloha, we are Sava, Cynthia, and Alex, along with our two dogs, Lucy and Shadow. We're traveling America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile North American waterway from Florida to Canada and back down via the Mississippi. Follow us on this journey on our boat called Mahalo. So this little part right after the Peterborough Lock is really quite narrow like Zava's pleased that another boat is not on coming for him to go through here. Alex, don't forget to turn off your headset, please. Especially with the wind we have right now. So we have a little bit of a breeze up here because now we've, we changed altitude, I think, when we went up the lock. Thank you, Alex. I feel better when it's in the harness. He's securing um, our rope just because we don't want it to slide off while we're traveling. This is a car bridge. I saw a car go over it because when you first glance, it almost looks like a rail bridge, you know? But this is a road bridge. Now, interestingly enough, there's a rope with a pole hanging down. Interesting. There's a dog in the water. Where? Oh, I see it now. So the motorboat ahead of us said they were going to lock 20, but they're still going and we just went through lock 21, so I think they're actually going a little further. So here's some homes here. It's getting quite dark over on that side. There's supposed to be like 14% chance of rain. Look at that pleasant little cottage. Isn't that sweet? So we're going to be careful here because there's some pedestrians on our right side and their dog has been running down into the canal and we can't stop right away. Here's somebody taking out their recycling. Of course, it looks very low. Yeah, we have to take out both of that Did you turn off your headset, Alex? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Dog's happy. He's a happy dog. They're going under the bridge. But I think we're gonna to have to wait. Now here is a little basin with some bulrushes and people have some yards that go down here to the basin. Isn't that sweet? I should use my Canadian. A? Eh? Isn't that sweet? A? Eh? <laughs> oh, Alex, they have a stat they have a mannequin in the yard with a giant Canadian fig leaf covering his goat nets. That's funny. I'm sorry the GoPro can't pick up the detail, but that was hilarious. It was a white mannequin, male mannequin in the backyard, and they had a giant Canadian maple leaf covering his area as a fig leaf. It's cute. It says 10 mile an hour here. Well, it was interesting that the lock guys said they were calling ahead for us. And he said that many of the lock masters follow Nebo. And so they actually watch us as we come along. But he said he would call ahead and actually tell up to lock 26 that we were planning to go that far today. So that's nice. There's a nice quiet little street just below the um, canal edge. Very pleasant. So, oh, the bridge is turning for them as well. But I think they could have gone under it. Maybe they wanted to see it open. I'm glad I'm filming this so you guys get to see it. Can you see Zal? Yeah, I'm trying to stay over to one side. Alex, you did a 
great job being on the front for the Peterborough lock. You did amazing. Yep. I'm really proud of you. Maybe his red Prius was over here behind the trees. He's like, oh, my car's here. <laughs> did not have fond feelings for because it was very noisy and added to his stress level while he was trying to do the Peterborough lock has moved on so now we're back to the way we like it which is us just putting along with our own pace not having to try to match up to somebody else's lock schedule right and um, so this has been very pleasant right now I just thought this bridge looked very serene I like the triangles for its uh, supports and um, somebody even has a generator and a cool box over there. Somebody has a little fishing like a, spot. Like spot. Water control lock and here it looks like a lovely path to hike along, like a towpath. We haven't seen towpaths so much here in Canada. In fact, we asked about it. They said, you know, this is almost like Trent Severn is a newer yeah. than Erie. Erie was older and had a, a path for uh, mules to pull barges. This didn't have that. And so when you see these paths, this is more of a modern thing for people to cycle and hike and bike. Barcelona. Barcelona was graffiti city. So he was just seeing some of these. So this is a water gate, right, Zah? Or a gate that holds back water. And maybe they can actually release it into a channel on either side. It acts like a small dam, right? I don't see the path now that we had a minute ago. Maybe it's on this side. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the path. This other side, I don't see a path. Unless you just want to hike through the no, underbrush. Oh, there's a, there's a tiny path. I see it. There's a path of gravel. Somebody has graveled a path here. Look, tiny, like a footpath. It's not. On this side too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the old swing bridge here. Railroad, I think. We've noticed that the rail bridges are not in use. Look yeah. at this one with trees rail growing. Bridge. The trees have grown through it no longer, but evidently it used to swing back and forth like the road bridges do. Here's some pretty color changes already. Look at the pretty red with the green and some yellow down there. It looks like flowers. Very pretty. So 
that a pedestrian bridge, Zav? Yeah. It looks like for bicycles. So this thing here that has a solar panel, we saw one that was laying down at one of the places we docked. What is that for? Alex, do you know? This metal thing? It was laying down at one of the docks. Siren for Germans are here. Germans are coming. <laughs> rare, rare. Alert, alert. So we don't know what this is. Yes, we don't know. Fishing. Did you catch anything? Well, not not yet. yet. This is a college okay. right over here in this whole area here. Here, the Peterborough Rowing Club. Right here. Shut up, please. Cool. Uh -huh. So this is a college. So that's like a college rowing uh, club. Now look at there. There is a there is a spillway right here. So you don't want to run over there. This whole area is a college. This whole area is a college, Alex said. Is that a dorm, you think, Alex, the yellow? It yep. looks like a dorm, doesn't it? For the students. Aren't the windows interesting? Very eccentric. He's using the word eccentric. I think he meant liberal. <laughs> it's contemporary it's a, arts. It's a synonym. <laughs> have to voice over Apple. all this. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> We're our own worst enemies. <laughs> Alex giggling. Alex, can you read the orange sign for me? Construction. Construction. Oh, that too. <laughs> Zob, Zob feels that because he's in Canada, if he makes like a sound like a French accent, that he's speaking French. <laughs> ooh, ooh la la. <laughs> I wonder if that's their cafeteria. Wouldn't that be nice if that was their or student center? Wouldn't that be nice right there? Who didn't like the noise pollution when someone Your else did it? But when he <laughs> passing a school. All right, we're having too much fun. You're here all week. Weeks ending. He's 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 letting out the stress that he had during the Peterborough lock, and now he can be creative Some and funny. Fell over here. See it slanted, fell over. The white thing. I just wish I knew what the different buildings are, but I really do think that's a student center here you know it's got tables outside and stuff oh this is the library alex look doesn't this look like the library it has like rows of books a conference room dogs must stop barking for the library i think it's a library somebody has a really nice office down here right on the water look at that so Zav is doing that for all the poor people studying in their carols as he drifts into the red balls. So they can't focus. Here, I'm going to move over here. He can't see the red balls. So we think this is a dormitory. And look at this interesting building with a curved roof. It's probably great for snow. But isn't that wild how that is? It's like tilted. The building is tilted. Uh huh. No. So Alex, look at this. Now this was popular, like right at the end of the '70s. They yeah, the thought ones, yeah. they thought this was so cool to make it look like rough cement, with everything exposed. Yes, it's supposed to be the end thing. To me, it's just it was ugly then. It's ugly now. We all grew up with bunkers. Is that what it was? There was no design. It's, it was liberal <laughs> arts back then. 
They were, they were so busy ingesting stuff that this is what they came up with. I will just slap some cement. What? And then it gets really narrow. Yeah. So here you have some more picnic tables and look at the just the cement. But they built it right on the water's edge. Very interesting. See the ledge right out. Almost looks like a dorm though. Look at those rooms. Almost looks like a dorm. I wonder if this is a guy's dorm. It has the look of a men's dorm. Very utilitarian. Oh, oh somebody's oh, okay. What's on this side? Look at these buildings. This must be their power plant for the school. Doesn't it look like a plant, Alex, on that side? Uh, that side over there, it looks very utilitarian. Ah, uh, I see a lock, Alex. We gotta get ready. Yep, we gotta go, Alex. We gotta get ready. All right, time for us to go. Aloha, so we decided to pull up and uh, dock at this, looks like a new dock here at lock 22. Uh, and they must have just lifted boats up and there's some boats coming down right now. So it'll be another 30 minutes or so before we get to ride through lock 22. So this lock, as well as the last one, is unique in that she's cranking the, at the gate there, as it, at the door. That's where the water's actually coming from. You can see her cranking there at the very top. Most other ones, of course, have valves that are opened uh, pneumatically, I think, or lines to somehow. So you can see the water gushing from after she cranked the doors open and he cranked the doors open on the, on the port side. Are you able to hang on, Alex? Okay. So you can see it gushing through there, and she's cranking there to make sure it's open all the way. And here's Cynthia holding on for dear life with Hanu. Yep. Took some pictures. I'll have to look. Top of lock 22, and you can see Port Severn, 235 kilometers left, 222 to the big chute. Lakefield, where we're going, probably is 7.2 kilometers, so we can do that. Um, yeah, 222 to the big chute, still got a ways to go. Here's Alex holding on for dear life. We're almost at the top, parked like setting at the very top there, very nice tie up and a big tie-up area. This, this one's been the most current for me. Usually I can hold it, but I mean, it pulls so hard, I can't hold it. You can see where we're tied up down below. It looks like a, yeah, a college area. 